Hi guys, and today it's time to do me Sunderland players I want to keep and my Sunderland players I want to sell. So let's get started. In call John McLaughlin. Um, so first of all, I just want to see it. Obviously, we never got promoted. But if it weren't for John McLaughlin, I don't think we'd even got playoffs. That's how valuable he's been this season, and he saved us so many games. So I'd like to see John McLaughlin stay. So uh, our backup goalkeeper last season was Ron Moore. I know he's leaving, and to be fair, that's about right. Um, he did well when he played, but but obviously, at least he doesn't want to be number two. So yeah. Then our third choice goalkeeper, Matt Sturzek. I would like to say Stian may be promoted to, to the second choice goalkeeper behind McLaughlin because it wouldn't cost much really like, for him to be our number two. So yeah, and so right back, Luke 09, the reason why is because I would like to say Stian because that's on two right backs. 09 is a centre midfielder. Should he be playing right back? No. But maybe present Zone. I would like to say my midfield next season, but we'll just see. Um then next Adam Matthews. I would like to say go because he's been a samples ever since we signed him really. When was the, the last time he had a good game? Don't know. On the last year it was absolutely terrible against South End. That he's part of it that was part of the reason why we lost. So yeah, I would like to say Matthews go. Then, then, our last right back, Donald Love. Again, I was like, say, like, when was the last time Donald Love plays for Sunderland? God knows. That shows how bad he is. He can't even get a game in League 1. So, yeah. So, just getting rid of him. So, our centre-backs, Ali Mozturk, the first one. I would like to say Ozturk steer. And um, if, if you ask me this in... Sitting before the Doncaster game, I'm to get rid of him, but but he did well since coming back into the team. He's really helped us, in in my opinion, if, on our playoff put. Even though we never got promotion, he looked good. So, so uh, um, his partner was Tom Flangen. I would like to say him go. Um, he was part of the reason why he never go. The defence was not good enough all season, really. And he was one of the defenders that was not really that good, really. So, just get rid of him and get a new, def basically, I think we could get away with the fall back, but get a new centre back. So, it's next, Jack Baldwin. <laughs> just get rid of him. Again, an absolute woeful player. His last game of the season was against commentary. He was sucking. He probably made as I know Flanker went much better, but Bath was a lot worse than Flanker on that day. You could argue that day was the reason why we never got all that promotion. Because after that, we just looked down. Uh, yes, we won one game after, but yeah, but I will get rid of Glenn Lovins, I will get rid of him as well because he he's too old, really. He hasn't. Um, he hasn't played since Christmas, near Christmas, so yeah, just let him go. Left backs, Brian of Edwafer. I would like to see him stay. Do I think he will? Probably not because he's on too much money and um, we we'll have to get our weird bill down, really, so yeah. So uh, our backup was Denver Hume for, since the first time I we went to Wembley. I would like to see Denver Hume stay and maybe make. The left back was in his own next season because he had the ability to do it then for him. And I think he could, you know. So, yeah. So, then, our third left back, Rhys James. I would like to see him go. He's, in, he's too injury prone. He was alright when he played, I'll give him that, but he's too injury prone, so I'll just get rid of him. So, the first centre defensive mid, Max Power. I would like to see Max Power stay because. He's a good player when he wants to be, and and I think he could be a key like player next season, and hopefully it will be another promotion put. So yeah, so then next one was Lee Catball. Again, I would like to say him steer, but again, like over the years, he's on too much money away for this division, and he probably won. Then, then our backup was Grant 
our first backup will go on there, but I, I think he will stay because the part of it is Sunderland fan and his teammates at end his career. No one ain't sell him in the front since both when he won by being a year, so if he's not just caving, then I think he will stay and I want him to stay. So, so the other backup, Dylan McGeoch, I would like to say stay, do I think he will? No, because how stupid is this? We only offered him a one year contract. Stupid. Um, I think, think he was fuming because he went on the bench at Wembley last week because it was typical one power and oh, that cost us in my opinion. So, yeah. so uh, Barley Mumba. I would like to say Barley Steer because he's got a good future at Sunderland and I think he could be a key player in the future. And to be honest, I would like the same Steer this season and battle for his players because you never know what the amount of players that league might get, might get a, a chance. So, or then, Ethan Robson, he was out on loan like at the second half last thing. But he's played the first half because he was injured. In my opinion, it's time to cut Luke lo- lo- with Ethan Robson and just sell him because, yes, he was good in the championship a little bit, but, but there again, he's just not good enough, in my opinion, to get rid of him. White made Linden Goats. I would like to say Steer because there's a player in Goats. He was stuck in the second half of the season, but I believe that if we can get Goats playing to what he was, it'll be good. Then Duncan Watmore next. I would like to see Duncan Watmore leave. Not because I hate him enough, it's because he's too injury prone and I just don't want want him him to have another injury hit season, especially with us who I was selling. So uh, Cam George Honeyman. First of all, I would like to see him go because he shouldn't be captain. What else? He he's not a bad player, I would not give him that, but he's not good enough to be the top of the table league one team. So just get rid of him, please, Jack Jack Ross. So then Elliot Embleton. I would like to say Steer but we haven't got anything about his contract yet. So hopefully he signed a new contract, but but if he does sign a contract, I would like to see him stay and fight for his place because I think he could get a place in the Sunderland team. So, yeah. So, left mid Ian McGady. The most obvious decision in this whole list, I want McGady to stay. Do I think he will? Probably won't. But let's try and fight and keep him. You never know. We can fight and keep players. As simple as that. So, yeah. So, the second left mid winner, Chris Maguire, I would love to say stay because he's another good player. And, yeah. Um, he says he loved the place, so he technically said he wanted to stay. So, up on Charlie White, I would like to say stay because if he gets good pre he could do well and yeah. And well, Greg, again, I would like to say stay because I think he could do could do well with a pre season. And plus, let's give it to him, he was injured pretty much like the season when we signed him, so I will get. So I'll give him a full pre season and give him a chance next season. And Kim Bjorka, I would like to say Steer because he's a good young player and yeah, hopefully he's signing a new contract. So that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe, view, comment and see. Yeah.